want to spend a lot of time like, answering every point, and not to say that we're not listening to them and noting them. I would say that the, most of the noise that you would, a lot of the noise you hear from skateboards is then on surfaces that are not made for skateboards. No, I'm used to skateboards on cement. Right, but poor, poor cement, like a swimming pool perhaps, is much quieter than cement that has a line every three feet, or, or along those lines, or even something that isn't smoother than like a skate park, but a poor skate park design is poor. Um, there, maybe there's some ways we can share some more information about the noise level. I hear your concerns, and obviously, you know, our choice on Go Skateboarding Day to play that music, which we debated internally quite a bit. Um, we decided to celebrate and have a party, and I apologize to the, the folks that were inconvenienced by that. I would assure you that there's music at events in the future there that it's, it's going to be um, done differently. As well. I mean, those speakers were basically aimed at your house. And that, that, would, that would happen. I, mean, I do want to open the floor back up to people who also like to comment. Well, just uh, to what she's talking about, how are you going to monitor, um, you know, how loud kids are playing music? That was a 450 watt speaker. That, that but it just in general, system, I, mean, I imagine that, that kids like to, to skate with music playing and would bring their own music and um, you know, just what that environment's going to be like. And the other point I want to make was just, um, I mean, I'm all for a skate park. And I'm kind of conflicted on it because we go to the park almost every day there. And um, it's kind of, we're kind of getting a small area now for the, the children's area. Um, if you're look at, looking at going between the basketball court and the, little, and the big baseball field, um, <clears throat> it's a small area and I'm kind of questioning whether I like it better than over here, um, which is closer to that steep hill, um, but it's also so small. Um, but with, the, with more people traffic, I'm wondering about, we haven't had that fountain, the water fountain, working for a long time. Um, and when there are more basketball players, there's a lot more trash that doesn't get picked up. And a lot of parents are walking around picking up the trash after the people playing basketball. And that's more of my concern is um, what the environment could be like with more people traffic, um, the amenities for bathrooms. I mean, we would already would like to have a bathroom. <coughs> coming from Green Street so we can use the bathroom first, but um, where are all these people going to be using the bathroom? And if, if the water fountain isn't working, they're going to be throwing soda bottles and stuff around like the basketball players do, so I'm just worried about that kind of stuff. Those basketball players are terrible. No, I, I like to play basketball too. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it just means more trash and um, more people needing to use the bathroom, things like that, or people need to be going out into the woods more. Right. I, that, that is something I, I, I don't, don't feel I'm, I can address right now. As far as the space on this side goes, I would like to um, say that, that um, both the Green Street School and the school board and the Recreation Park Department are open to talking about where these are going to go exactly in this area. Um, they, you know, they will move to, to, the other, to this side of the basketball court exact location might be might be negotiable as far as um, what that's going to look like. This backstop will most likely move really elsewhere in the park. So I, I think the space over here you're going to find includes a very large field, which I don't think is very used for baseball too often. I know you're up there a lot. Right, so that's what I'm wondering. Um, is there going to be more of a designated area for the, the youth to Um, but as David was showing in, in the 
photo there, moving it to the other side of the basketball court. What he said is opening up that whole that whole space there. I think you're going to find with it being relocated, there's going to be more space to just run. Right. Um, you know, there's something as far as you know, working with the school board and, and um, the administration here at Green Street is what works for them as far as relocating. You know, the backstop is it? You know, they definitely the backstop is definitely going to have to be moved in order to create a safe place there. That's what I was wondering. While there are games, would it be safe for kids to be playing here? The backstop is right there. That's so what we think. Yeah, we yeah. Would, you know, bottom line, that backstop will have to move. Okay. You know, is it best to move it east? Is it best to move it at the far to the far only the far end? You know, that's something that you know we need to we'll need to sit down and see what what's best. By, by no means would we be putting a play structure in an area that a foul ball is going to go into a kid's room and play that. You know, we'd be moving that stuff down to that area. So it's safe. they'll understand that it's an opportunity for them to be proud of their community. 